The AMD Vega GPU architecture is a next generation graphics silicon the Radeon Red team are working on for release early this year. With the flagship Radeon RX Vega promising to deliver AMD graphics card that can finally compete with the very top end of rivals Nvidia's GPU stack. AMD have announced a naming scheme for what will probably be the flagship Vega card, the Radeon RX Vega. It's likely to be the direct replacement for the R9 Fury cards from the last generation of high-end AMD graphics cards. In 2016, AMD promised their Polaris graphics card would bring their Radeon graphics cards back into the game. But while the RX 480 and RX 470 have shown impressive DirectX 12 performance against the mid-range GE4 shaped competition, AMD have yet to release a high-end car to give them genuine 4K gaming. This is where the AMD Vega GPU architecture comes in. Aiming to jump in at the high-end and providing the Radeon faithful with a serious GTX 1080T contender. AMD have already confirmed that they will be releasing Vega graphics cards in the first half of 2017 and seeing as they have already shown a working Vega 10 GPU at the recent New Horizon event for their Ryzen CPUs. It doesn't look like they will be far away at all. We also know the first Vega GPU designs have passed the South Korean National RRA certification which is normally a good indication that they are almost ready for mass consumption. AMD also announced the Vega GPU in their professional class Radeon Instinct Deep Learning Accelerators at the start of December 2016. The top end Instinct card is the MI25 and likely represents the fastest Vega can go right now. The RX 500 series is here. But there's no Vega to get excited about. They had the gaming Vega cards on show at GDC on February 28, going head to head with the NVIDIA event where the green team showed off the new GTX 1080T GPU.